okay welcome all today we are going to discuss about the three topics water content lod it means loss on drying and water activity i have seen often people are confused with these three terms and usually ask the question that when we do water content in any test then why do we require lod or water activity or when we perform lod test of any sample or food sample or drug then why do we conduct water content and water activities test now in this session we will discuss about the basic concept of these three topics and understand why these and how these terms are a bit different from each other now the water content which is also called the moisture content is calculated by using karl fischer titration okay this instrument is used to calculate the water content or the moisture content in the sample this instrument determines the amount of water or moisture present in the sample now karl fischer titration is calculates the amount of free water as well as bound up water now, this is very important for this topic means what does the water content or the karl fischer titration does it calculates the amount of free water as well as the bound water present in sample now we will understand what is free water and bound water you can see here free water is the amount of water available for biological activity and bound water is the water molecules which are chemically bonded to the sample i will show you with the help of examples suppose this is our any beaker or sample and you can see here this has suppose they are water molecules free water molecules okay now we have a, another beaker where any compound or food sample or drug sample is kept okay now what the water molecules will chemically bound to this drug molecule or the food sample okay now there will be less free water molecules as compared to this one okay where the drug is present here the free water molecules will be less as compared to this this one so what we can see this free water molecules are more prone to biological activity it, it means that they will degrade fast as compared to this one because here the free water molecules are less and the rest water molecules which were present are now chemically bonded to this drug molecule so they are not available for biological activity so now our karl fischer titration determines the free water as well as the bound water present in sample so we can know the actual amount of water only the water present in the sample whether it is free water or the bound water now in later topics we will understand the difference between these terms here i have drawn a figure i will zoom it for you this is a laboratory karl fischer titration which is used to determine the water content this is some kind of instrument which is available this is a bottle where we keep our karl fischer reagent and in this flask or this is instrument where we keep our sample in the methan in usually in the dry methanol and this instrument calculates the water content of the moisture content which is connected to the pc or any computer and the software automatically determines the water content of the moisture content in sample we will discuss how this karl fischer titration works in any another video where we will talk in detail about the basic chemical reaction and the instrumentation part of this here we will understand about these three topics okay now what we understood here this water content is determined by karl fischer titration and karl fischer titration calculates the amount of free water as well as bound water now we will come on the next topic lod lod means loss or drying lod is determined by heating the sample below its melting point this is a very important thing to remember and learn here 
LOD is determined by heating the sample below its melting point. It calculates the free water, bound water and volatile solvents like alcohol if present in the sample. Now what we had discussed earlier in the moisture content we calculate only free water and bound water. Here in LOD loss on drying we calculate the free water plus bound water and any volatile solvents if it is present in the food sample or the drug sample which we are analyzing it calculates all three. So the actual amount of the water content and the volatile solvent present in the sample is calculated by using LOD. Okay. The third term is water activity. This is very important and where people are confused between water activity and water content. We will understand here water activity is used to calculate the free water present in the sample. Now this is the basic term which differentiates between all these three topics water content LOD and water activity water activity calculates only the free water present in sample what I have told here in this figure this is the water molecule which are chemically bonded and these are free free water molecules present in the sample or these are the free sample water molecules present in sample so water activity will determine only these suppose if we are taking for in this example only these four or five water molecules will be determined by water activities test and if we are conducting water content by Carl Fischer titration we will get to know this chemically bound water also and this free water also by the Carl Fischer titration test okay now water activity is determined by using water activity meter it is a laboratory instrument water activity meter which is used to calculate the water or the free water present in the sample now it is determined on the scale of 0 to 1 now 0 indicates that lack of water there is no water free molecules water free water molecule present in the sample and 1 is the value which indicates for the pure water now the higher the value means the value which is closer to the 1 it indicates high content of water which is responsible for enzymatic activity, bacterial activity, mold formation, which deteriorates the quality of the drug or the food. It means, जो हमारा free water रहेगा, free water मैंने बताया था कि जो free water रहता है, वो responsible रहता है हमारी drug या food को degrade degradation activity के लिए, bacterial activity, कोई enzyme की activity के लिए. और जो बाउंड वाटर जो केमिकली बाउंड वाटर रहता है मींस जो वाटर हमारी ड्रग या फूड मॉलिक्यूल से केमिकली बाउंड हो जाता है वो फ्री फॉर्म में अवेलेबल नहीं होता है और वो हमारी बैक्टीरियल एक्टिविटी या कुछ भी माउल फॉर्मेशन उनके लिए रिस्पांसिबल नहीं होता है इसीलिए आपने देखा होगा ये देखिए मैंने यहां पर एक इंस्ट्रूमेंट भी डेमोस्ट्रेट किया है दिस इज वाटर एक्टिविटी मीटर व्हिच इज यूज्ड इन द लैबोरेटरी टू डिटरमाइन द फ्री वाटर in present in the sample now i will tell you with the example jaise ki ek beaker lete hain yahan par humko free water molecules are present here when we add salt or sugar in this beaker this water molecules suppose we are adding some salt to this beaker where free water molecules are present here we will have na and chlorine sodium and chlorine salt Okay, now this some water molecules will chemically bound to this sodium and some free molecules will bond to this chlorine. Now the amount of available free molecule water is less as compared to this beaker where no sugar or salt is added. So this water where amount of free water molecules are present more as compared to this one which are where water molecules are chemically bonded so this will be more prone to deteriorate or degrade fast as compared to this one okay so our water activity meter is used to determine only the free water so these are the three basic difference between these term i will summarize in very quickly 
वाटर कंटेंट इज यूज टू डिटरमाइंड फ्री वाटर एज वेल एज बाउंड वाटर ओके एल ओ डी इज यूज टू डिटरमाइंड फ्री वाटर बाउंड वाटर प्लस द वोलाटाइल सॉल्वेंट लाइक एल्कोहल एंड द वाटर एक्टिविटी इज यूज टू डिटरमाइंड ओनली द फ्री वाटर प्रेजेंट इन द सैम्पल होप आई हैव ट्राई टू मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस टॉपिक इफ यू हैव एनी कन्फ्यूजन और यू हैव एनी something you want to add more to this topic you can comment me by writing in my comment section we will discuss in some any other video or any other discussion and we have proper understanding for this thank you for now